Hey guys, and welcome to part 26 of this platform tutorial series. Uh, in this part we are going to create falling platforms, uh, because one of you requested it, so why not? So, let's start off with importing a... Uh, what is it called? A platform. So I've just created a simple platform, it's really simple. And you can make your own, or you can download this in the description if you want. So let's just drag it into the scene. Here we go. And what we need on this falling platform is a rigid body 2D and a collider. And it's going to be a box collider. And let's just maybe, maybe little, make it a little smaller, like this. And then we need to check is kinematic because we're going to do some stuff to it in the script. So now let's create a new script and let's call this. Let's call this. What should we call it? It's called, of course, falling platform. Nice. And let's open the script up. Falling platform. So what we need for this is hmm, two variables the first one is just going to be a reference to our rigid body 2d body 2d and then we need another one called public float uh, fall delay so basically what we are going to do is when the player touches the platform uh, there's going to be a little delay and when the delay is over uh, the platform will fall. Okay, so that is going to be the fall delay. Now, now we need a function called starts, and in here we're just going to reference to the uh, rigid body, you know. And then in uh, we create another. Uh, no, what am I saying? Let's create another function called on collision. Enter. 2D and that's going to be a, colli a co collision 2D. It's not like the on trigger enter. This is because the falling platform isn't a trigger, it isn't set to its trigger. So we're just going to say, uh, check on collision enter instead. And in here, we're just going to check if the if called a collider. Uh, a compare tag is player so if the player touches the platform then we want to call a new function and let's just create that so we're going to create a ie numerator so there's going to be a ie numerator which is going to be called fall and in here we need to say Yield return new wait for seconds, and that's going to be the fall delay. And when that fall delay is over, we want to set the rb2d that is kinematic to false, so it is going to be uh, so the gravity will affect it. So basically, when the rb2d is kinematic, no physics based stuff will affect it okay unless you set it manually okay and then we will just say yield return zero just to end the ie numerator off okay and now we just need to call it so start curating fall there we go and let's go back into unity and see what happens now let's just make sure to add the script and a fault delay. So let's say one second. Why not? Let's play. Maybe let's do this. And there we go. The platform falls. But as you can see, the platforms uh, interacts with other things. And maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want the platform to fall all the way down. Okay. Uh, so the way you're going to do that is really simple. You're just going to say uh, you're just going to get the component of the box collider and set it to its trigger whenever it has to fall. So just say get component 
uh, collider 2 d dot s trigger uh, equals to true. Uh, yeah. So now let's play again. And let's jump over to the platform. And there we go. The platform falls through everything. Cool. Nice. Good, so that was basically it for the falling platform. So I hope it was helpful. I hope you can use it to something. So that was it for part 26. Uh, see you again. Uh, see you later, guys. Goodbye.